So unfortunately today is our last day in Kauai. We are traveling to the Big Island. We're gonna go uh, take about a 40 minute drive and fly over to the Big Island. Woohoo! This by far was my favorite island, I would have to say. Uh, really laid back, super green, things to see everywhere, different colored sand. I mean, it's just, it was just awesome. Yeah, and not too it. crowded either. We are gonna miss it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we felt like this, especially the Waiame plantation cottages were, we felt like there were more locals here. I feel like this is where Hawaiians come to vacation just to kind of get away from the hustle and muscle and uh, tourists. Absolutely. So. Um, Highly recommended. For definitely sure. recommend. It's like probably a fraction of the cost of the Four Seasons, which we stayed at last week, and very relaxed. Good food. Shout out to chicken, and, chicken and barrel. Chicken and a barrel. And we ate da pizza. That's what we had. Breakfast, like, lunch, and yeah. dinner there. Like every day. And it, it was, was so good. awesome. Good variety. There's Mexican. There's uh, all different smokes, yeah. Pizza, all all smoke. different smoked meats and whatnot. So, and you start smelling it like right at like nine o'clock in the morning yeah. to get started. Other so. than the flowers, you smell the pulled pork here, and then uh, it, I think it's overall mm -hmm. I sweating. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little warm. A little, to little yeah. toasty. So we're gonna try and get in the water uh, eventually, and uh, I guess we'll see you on the Big Island. Wonderful. See you there. Best airport ever. Ooh, uh, what airport is it? Uh, Kona. In 1,000 feet. Kona, Kona, Turn something. Right. We are in and out of the airport in five minutes. Out of the plane, got our bags right away, got our car right away, and we're on the road. We are staying at a place called, it's called the Kawaloa Plantation. It's a and b We've, so far we've done a hotel, cottages, and then now this is our uh, b and b It got awesome reviews, so we'll see. It's up on the seems like on the top of the island and we're just probably gonna take it easy tonight do a whole lot of nothing but then tomorrow we'll show you around uh, the property and the area and we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff including night diving or night snorkeling with manta rays which would be fun staying in Captain Cook on the Big Island. It's about 20, 25 minutes or about a half hour south of Kona. There are two major airports on the island, Hilo on the east side and then Kona on the west. And we found a B&B in Captain Cook, which is great because it's close to a lot of sport, uh, snorkeling spots. And it's also about a two hour drive to uh, one of the major volcanoes, which was I think last active one or two years ago. So the cool thing about this property is it's all the way up on the hill. It's kind of hidden and tucked way back there. And there's about, I think, six bedrooms. We're staying in one of the mountain view rooms for the first three nights and then an ocean view room the fourth night. Our favorite part about the B&B &B is definitely the breakfast. The owner, Michael, and um, I think he ends up with his partner. They cook breakfast every morning, which is incredible. They have their own homemade coffee that they grow on the plantation. Today we had French toast with coconut syrup, a bunch of amazing fruits, dragon fruit, passion fruit, bananas everywhere. And then within five, 10 minutes of this uh, location, there's a ton of great restaurants. And we've already tried out a couple. So the entrance to the property starts right about there. And it goes straight up, probably about a quarter mile. It's a winding road, all the way up. It's kind of tucked on the hill. We've both uh, mentioned it feels like a Dr. Seuss book.
Okay, so going down was a lot easier. Now I'm making my way back up. Forgot to mention two other things I really like about the place. The geckos that join you for breakfast in the morning. Coming from Florida, we have a lot of lizards, but I don't see many geckos. I don't even know if they're native. And then at night, there's these tree frogs that basically sing the entire night. So it's like your own white noise machine. And overall, the owners and staff we've met have been amazing. And we definitely are gonna come back, I'd recommend. The price is also unbeatable. It's about a fraction of the cost of many of the five-star hotels in the area. And I can guarantee you the customer service way better here. And you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck. Amazing views, included awesome breakfast. Feels like the more authentic Hawaiian experience rather than uh, cooped up in some hotel. So this is the upstairs of the Kalalawa plantation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the ocean view room. areas. And we'll show you the kitchen. So their coffee setup. They usually have tea and coffee all day. And in the morning they'll put their breakfast bed right there. There's a shared refrigerator and then there's the main refrigerator they use for cooking. And this is a nice little side yard. And the outdoor showers. They do have indoor showers, but if you want, if you have the preference of showering outside, they have a pretty sweet space over here. To rinse enough, you can just hop right into the hot tub.